Hello, my name is Erin Bourbet, and I'm a licensed acupuncturist and Chinese medicine herbalist. And I'm here to give you this month's Flower Revolution Acupoint Protocol for the Taiwanese Celosia or Celosia, not entirely certain, um, the pronunciation, and the Inner Peace Anointing Oil. So when I was reading through Katie's notes this month and um, sitting and taking the essence, I knew I wanted to work with the spleen meridian and the earth element in some way um, because for two reasons. The first reason is the the spleen is said to rule kind of our thought patterning. And then when we get stuck in either overthinking or obsessing or worrying about a specific thing that usually is indicative indicating some sort of spleen imbalance. Also the idea that we cannot stay focused on any sort of thought. We kind of have this monkey mind and um, it's not so much the follow through of the task, but more the the thought that keeps moving us. Um, so, and then the second piece being this, that the spleen is kind of the quintessential mother, right? The archetype of, you know, someone who gives a lot of themselves maybe at the expense of themselves, right? Maybe says yes to too many things, right? Or maybe is nice just because for nice's sake, right? But these patterns can deplete us and also are inauthentic and lead to confusion and chaos, both internally and externally, if we're not in alignment with our true capacity. So they both kind of felt like, okay, let's do a spleen point here. Um, but this clarity and organization piece, um, especially when it comes to communication and speech is more upper, what we call upper jowl. So I think of the lung element, which is the metal element for that. Um, so in working with the spleen channel, there is actually a metal point on the spleen channel. So it both calms and nourishes the spleen, right? It dissolves any dampness or depletion that might have ensued from overthinking. It regulates and softens that energy. And then it also tonifies the metal element, which will support our clear communication and our clear conveyance of um, that which is truly in alignment with our authenticity. So it is on the ankle. I will show you in, I'll show you right now, actually. <laughs> so we'll go down to my, to my ankle here. And you'll see you have your ankle bone. This is my ankle bone. It's hard to see. But if you draw a line down the front of the ankle bone and then along the bottom, it's kind of this front corner. There's a little depression there. Um, and that is spleen five right there. So you can go ahead and put that, put your um, inner piece anointing oil on spleen five. Um, I also want to share that the lung meridian starts on the chest. So if we kind of go to the collarbones and go out to where there's the depression just under the collarbones, that's lung two. Lung one is right below it. But lung two especially is um, called cloud gate, which I like. It kind of disfuses the clouds, right, and um, makes things clear. So, and since the lung is supportive of our conveyance into the world through clear speech and communication, you can also take a drop of your inner piece and rub it right kind of on this outer chest area, hitting both lung one and lung two. And then you get the added benefit of being able to really smell and enjoy the um, aromatherapy in the anointing oil. So you have spleen five on the inner ankle bone and you have some lung points to use this month. I hope they serve you on your journey and I will see you next time. Thanks.